Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your Scrum Master interview. So if you have a Scrum Master interview coming up for any organization whatsoever, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm gonna help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of Scrum Master interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. And there are some really challenging ones later on so stick around. I'll also provide you with example high scoring answers to all of those questions to help you to succeed. Plus I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your Scrum Master interview before finally telling you how you can download further resources including all of the answers to help you to prepare. And just very quickly please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your Scrum Master interview and I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first Scrum Master interview question that I recommend you prepare for, which is what are your strengths as a Scrum Master? Now this question may seem an easy one, but it's really not because most candidates, they will say that they are hardworking, professional, or use other buzzwords without giving any practical experience to back up their strengths or they even forget to provide strengths that are crucial to the role of a Scrum Master. So my tip here is to make sure you download that job description and focus on telling them how your strengths match it. It's really, really important that you do that because that job description is your blueprint for answering these interview questions and scoring highly. So for example, if on the job description, they state they're looking for someone who can handle conflict and discord between team members, then make sure you use those exact phrases throughout your Scrum Master interview answers. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. What are your strengths as a Scrum Master? One of my strengths as a Scrum Master is that I'm able to effectively manage conflicts within a team. I'm aware that adopting an agile way of working can be a big change for some people. And to me, an agile way of working is partly about creating an environment where everyone is comfortable not working in silence. But instead, they're encouraged to provide feedback, they respond well to feedback, and they encourage feedback from others. I therefore feel one of my strengths is making sure all team members feel heard. And if a conflict or discord ever arises, I follow a five-step process where I start by ensuring I understand understand the issue, I arrange a discussion, usually in the daily scrum discussions, and we would then explore different ways the team could resolve the issue. I assign a resolution and then check back regularly to ensure everyone was happy and that the resolution worked. My other strengths include my facilitation of agile processes and scrum ceremonies. For example, sprint planning, daily stand-up, sprint retrospective and so on to ensure efficient and productive teamwork. I also have strong communication and leadership abilities to guide the team toward project success and promote teamwork and collaboration in a positive environment. And finally, I would say another important strength I possess is my ability to adapt and be flexible in response to changing project requirements and team dynamics. Wow, what a powerful way to answer that interview question. What are your strengths as a Scrum Master? Let's take a look at the next interview question, which is, tell me when you've failed as a Scrum Master. Now, this interview question is hard because most candidates say they haven't failed. Now, the hiring manager is going to see straight through this and they will not be impressed and you'll probably fail the interview. Instead, you must be honest and take ownership of your failure. Everyone has made mistakes. So show you've learned from those mistakes and show how they have made you a better scrum master. Let's take a look at a great example answer to help you. Tell me when you failed as a scrum master. There is one time that comes to mind when I failed in my role as a scrum master. I had not long started in the role as a scrum master and although I knew what was required of me in the position and I had developed an excellent scrum framework for the company with the team really positive about adopting an agile way of working, I found myself with a shortage of people with the right skill sets. This happened as I wrongly accounted for skills in my plan that the team did not currently have but I was told HR had already interviewed for and two new members of staff were to be joining the team soon. However, when these members of staff joined, it was quickly clear that their skill sets were not a match for the vision I'd had for them. This was my error, as I didn't reach out to these members of staff before they joined the team to assess their best strengths, and I went with what other people told me instead, whom obviously would not know the details of the framework and the project ahead. 
I managed to quickly fix this issue by learning what their actual strengths were and adjusting the plan accordingly. However, I was embarrassed by my mistake and I learned a great deal from this experience. Moving forward, I've since found that the best way to avoid a shortage of people and skill sets is to work closely with HR. I do this by having meetings with them when they are recruiting to ensure that I can provide them with as much detail about the experience and skills needed and also any certifications that we need. I found this to be highly effective in enabling HR to create recruitment campaigns that meet our needs. Now don't go anywhere as I still have more interview questions and answers to give you, but when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner, it will take you to my website howtobecome.com where you can download my 27 Scrum Master interview questions and answers for all organisations to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Okay, here's the next interview question for you. What does the master mean in Scrum Master? Now this question is a bit different and it isn't one I've been able to find many people answer well at all. To answer this interview question, demonstrate to the hiring manager that you understand your responsibilities as a scrum master and that the term master doesn't mean you rule over anyone else. That's really important. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. What does the master mean in scrum master? The master in Scrum Master refers to the person who facilitates and leads the Scrum process within a development team. It does not mean master or ruler over any team or individual, but instead the master of Scrum framework. It is my responsibility as a Scrum Master to teach, observe and coach the entire Agile team to make sure that they are adhering to the Scrum framework and by extension to the Scrum values and principles. As Scrum Master, I will have to remove any obstacles the team faces and help the team to continuously improve. This will help to ensure that the company benefits from the Scrum framework through the successful delivery of complex products. The term master refers to me or any Scrum master serving as a leader and expert in the application of Scrum. Now that's a brilliant answer to that interview question that catches many people off guard and is a really tricky one to answer if you don't break it down like we've just done so there. Let's move on to the next Scrum Master interview question which is, have you ever worked with remote teams? And if so, how did you handle Scrum events? Now this question is becoming more and more relevant. But it is a real tough one as you have to answer it well. Many companies now have many of their team members work from home all over the world. The hiring manager wants to hear that you'll be able to handle remote and potentially a global team. So here is a great example answer to help you. Have you ever worked with remote teams? And if so, how did you handle scrum events? Yes, I have plenty of experience working with remote teams. Since the pandemic, working remotely became the norm for a long period of time at my previous place of work. This situation meant I had to adopt new ways of implementing the Scrum framework and events. Some of the tools I used included Zoom for video calls and also Google Meet to facilitate face-to-face -face meetings and I used Jira as a project management tool to manage tasks, prioritise work and track progress. I also implemented Google Jamboard to visualise and collaborate on ideas and designs in real time. I use a digital board to display the sprint backlog, track work in progress and visualise progress towards sprint goals. I actually found many of these tools to work really productively and even though I've been back in the office since, many people have adopted a remote working policy. So for many scrum events such as daily scrum, sprint review and sprint retro perspective, I still use video conferencing, virtual whiteboards and virtually shared documents to keep everyone engaged and informed no matter where they are. Something that was important when working remotely was fostering a positive and united team culture to keep everyone on a shared goal despite not being together in person. I'm pleased to say that one of the projects we worked on during the pandemic turned out to be our most well received from our customers and increased customer engagement with the company by 60% during the first month of launching. If you hire me, I'm confident in my ability to handle Scrum events and work effectively in a remote environment.
The next tough Scrum Master interview question to prepare for is, please explain your experience as a Scrum Master to date. They want to hear whether you have any experience in your employment history that is a match for the job description. So again, make sure you tailor your answer to match the experience they are after on the job description. Plus, ensure you demonstrate you have the skill set, experience and knowledge that they are after. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to that interview question. Please explain your experience as a Scrum Master to date. Over the last six years, I've been a scrum master with two companies. In the first company, I was mentored by an agile coach, which really helped me understand the process and decisions needed to be an effective scrum master. After two years, I moved to a global accountancy firm. My initial assignment was to create and refine a scrum framework for a new team. The business recently made the decision to adopt the scrum framework and an agile method of working. This was a fantastic opportunity for me to really demonstrate my scrum master abilities and hone my skills as a servant leader even further. To start, I needed to know who was in the team, what abilities and qualities they each possessed, how they were currently using and comprehending agile method of working, if at all, and what the team's projects and ultimate objectives were. I was then able to develop a thorough plan for the following six months as a result of this. I spent six months training, evaluating and mentoring members of the Agile team to make sure the Scrum Framework's benefits were being fully utilised. At the conclusion of the six months, it was evident that the team had adopted an Agile method of working and had become comfortable doing so, so I was really happy that my efforts had paid off. The team's ability to further enhance the project's framework, thanks to their confidence, ultimately led to the effective delivery of complex products. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. Explain what Agile means to you. Now, I recommend doing two things in your answer here. Firstly, demonstrate that you understand what Agile working means and the benefits it brings, in particular Scrum. Now this is where many people let themselves down with this answer because this is where they finish. They don't give any more than that. And that is what makes this question a tough question to answer because for me, the best way to answer this is to not only demonstrate that you understand the benefits of agile working and what it means, but you also give a personal explanation of what it means to you. This shows that you truly understand its practical application. So let's take a look at a brilliant example answer to help you. Explain what agile means to you. For me, Agile is a mindset and a way of life. The ultimate goal of Agile working is to empower teams to add value to the customer in an ever-changing environment and markets. And in my opinion, the best way to achieve that is viewing Agile as a mindset and how we think, how we act, and also how we react. To me, the key to success with Agile is working together to produce value. That entails having an inclusive mindset and being adaptable. Agile, in my opinion, is our interpersonal behaviours that focus on influencing, inspiring and motivating others to enable each member of the team to generate value to the customer in a fast-paced and rapidly changing environment and to quickly respond to changing requirements and market needs. To me, being agile means embracing change and continuously improving while always putting the customer first. The next interview question is, as a Scrum Master, how will you empower your team in order for them to adopt the Agile mindset effectively? Wow, this is a great question. This question is bound to come up during your Scrum Master interview. Adopting an Agile way of working can be very different to what some people are used to already. So you must demonstrate that you have the skill set to empower everyone in your team to work collaboratively with a positive mindset that ultimately adds value to the business. So here's a great example answer to help you. As a Scrum Master, how will you empower your team in order for them to adopt the Agile mindset effectively? It is my responsibility as a Scrum Master to help my team develop an Agile mentality. The best strategy, in my experience, focuses on fostering teamwork among all members of the group. Instead of working silently on individual duties, team members should speak up and be bold. I encourage team members to collaborate instead of working silently on individual jobs. I want each member of my team to feel that they are working in a safe environment where they are encouraged to speak up if they believe a product is unsuitable or if they have a different opinion about a project element. I want them to be outspoken about both giving and receiving feedback and if there is a problem I want them to look into it as a group. 
This open working environment mentality shift involves sharing ideas with one another, committing to the idea that by working together, we can all have an impact, accomplish a common objective more successfully, and ultimately offer more value to the business and its customers. Now, in preparation for your Scrum Master interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. Tell me what you know about our company in terms of our values and ethics. Tell me about yourself and why you want to work in this role as our Scrum Master. Where do you see yourself in five years time? What is your biggest weakness? Describe a time when you've had to overcome a challenging task. Why should we hire you as our Scrum Master? Describe a time when you've dealt with a difficult client. In your opinion, what is a successful Scrum Master? Tell me how you would facilitate a daily Scrum meeting. Describe a time when you've managed multiple tasks all at once. Why do you want to leave your current job? Why have you chosen to work for us over our competitors? Tell us about an issue you've had with a stakeholder and what you did to resolve it. How would you deal with discord or conflict in the team? So the next thing to do, if you'd like to download example answers to these and all of the toughest Scrum Master interview questions, is to please make sure you click that button in the top right hand corner of this video right now, head through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download these slides and get access to 27 Scrum Master interview questions and high scoring answers to each question in a PDF guide. You can literally have access and the slides in your inbox within two minutes from now, and it's guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your your interview and also more importantly put you ahead of the competition i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe as i'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and i can only do that if you are subscribed please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like this one and if you have any questions regarding any job interview please feel free to put these in the comment section below where i'll get back to you and finally if you'd like to connect with me on linkedin i've put my linkedin link in the description below it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best for your interview. Have a brilliant day.